uh, it's my uh, great pleasure to uh, give a presentation on the uh, construction of bed satellite navigation system. Uh, as we know that on the July 31st in 2020, China Global's Beidou, satellite, uh, Beidou Navigation Satellite System, we call it BDS-3, started its surface. Since then, China has had its own space-based global PND surface infrastructure with independent intellectual property. What feature surfaces can BDS provide for, for users? And what is the surface performances and what are the differences between BDS system and other GNSS system? What is the future development of BDS and China national PND infrastructure? As we know that in the, uh, in the late 1980s, last century, China decided to establish its own satellite navigation system. We call it BDS-1. As we know that, at that time, we cannot establish the uh, global PND surface infrastructure like GPS or GLONASS. Because due to the economic and the technological constraints. But and now we feel the uh, BDS-1, we call it the demonstration system in 2003. I, I can say that BDS-1 solved the problem from the uh, zero to one problem of the satellite navigation in China. And then from 2004, we started to uh, establish the BDS-2, we call it the second generation of Beidou navigation satellite system and finished in 2012. BDS-2 solved the problem from the active positioning to the uh, passive positioning and solve the problem from the local service to the regional service services. After that, from uh, 2009, we started the BDS-3 or the general, the uh, global satellite, uh, global navigation satellite system. We call it the BDS-3 and finished it in uh, 2020. BDS-3 solved the regional surface to the global surface and provided some other featured surfaces. For the first generation of uh, for the BDS-3 navigation standard system, what are new in the design, de design nation? In my opinion, the first new design is the hybrid consternation. As we know that BDS-3 consists of 30 satellites, including three geo satellites, three ITSO, and 24 mu satellites. The different satellites, satellites have different uh, functions, service functions. So the uh, consternation of the Beidou satellite system is different from GPS, GNOS, or Galileo. A second new design, in my opinion, is the general is the signal modulation. As we know that a B1 signal is module was module modulated by the orthogonal multiplexing binary offset carrier mode. In this modulation, B1C signal and a B1I as well as the uh, authorized signal can be combined as an uh, one unified signal from the form a constant envelope of multiplexing structure is very helpful in anti in the anti interference and anti multiplex b2 signal was modulated in a asymmetric constant envelope binary offset carrier we call it a s block modulation mode in this modulation B2A and B2B signals can be combined as one signal. The, the third new design is the intersatellite links. The intersatellite links is different, is very helpful for BDS3, for the surface 
uh, uh, improve their surface performance. As we know that all of the uh, tracking stations can only be established in, in China mainland, in the do domestic uh, territory, territory. The United States limited China to establish some other uh, tra tracking stations in the world. So we de designed the inner satellite links using KA band and the laser ISA, uh, inner satellite links. We uh, similarly called ISL. The K band ISL has the ranging accuracy of 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 meters and with the communication bandwidth of 200K. The laser ISL has the centimeter never ranging accuracy and a communication bandwidth of 1G. What's the rules of the uh, ISL? The ISL can help us to for the ranging and communication within the satellites. And it also supports, supports the feature surfaces of BDS, BDS3. It, it, is, it also improves the accuracy of satellite ephemeris and enhance, enhances the availability as the ability of time and space data maintenance. The fourth new design for the BDS3 is the operational control system. The, the, uh, rule, the rule of the, uh, of the OS, OCS is very special for the, uh, all of the GNSS systems. At first, we should solve the ICL in the OCS to manage to, uh, to manage the, uh, to deal with the ICL measurements and the communication messages. And the opening and downlink, uh, down, uh, downlink problem for the uh, regular short message communication surface at Sankara. So at first we designed the cloud platform for the OCS. It's, it's much more safe for the uh, OCS operation. The main clock of the BDST, BDST means BDS time, was replaced by the comprehensive atomic clocks. It's a, it's a paper time. This uses the paper time to improve the reliability of the system time. The coordinate of the BDS3 is updated once a year to Taking into the deformation, deformation into account in the, uh, into the uh, coordinate reference reference frame. What's the performance for the new design? At first, we should tell you the uh, signal in space range errors because the uh, CRE we call it CRE. CRE is a very fun foundation for the PNP surface. The CRE of the B1i and B3i of the, or, the uh, old signals of BDS and the new signals B1c and B2a signals meet the requirement of design index. That means all of the, the performance are better than four meters for the single satellite and two meters for the whole constellation. Most of the CSRE of B1c and B2a are smaller than one meter. Look at the picture, please. The uh, lower picture is the uh, displayed the uh, P B1C and B2A signals. All of the signals, the, the CSRE, most of them are smaller than one, one meter. Only four satellites, satellite, the CSRE of four, four or five satellites are larger than one meter. So the signal is signal precision is very good. The, uh, the professor Oliver Mandelbrook from Europe also gave a presentation. Uh, he published a paper in 2020. In 2020, he told us, that, told us that the signal noise and the multipass of Galileo E1 signal and the PDS3 is smaller than that of GPS-L1 and L2C. 
the combined signal of BDS3, BA, B2AB in Xbox modulation modes performs better. In his paper, uh, B, B2A plus B, he simply used B2AB uh, performance better. The CCR of BDS3 and GANU is better than that of GPS and GANU NAS. What is the broadcast, the performance of broadcast, uh, broadcast orbits? Broadcast orbits directly influx the uh, navigation users. The accuracy of the, of the broadcast orbits of the MU satellites are about 75.7 centimeters by using only the metric tracking stations. If the in the satellite links measure, link measurements join the uh, orbit determination, then we the, the accuracy of the orbits can achieve 23.3 meter, centimeters in three dimension. Of course, the accuracy is improved by more than three times supported by the uh, ISL. The predicted orbits is improved also by the ISL about 21%. What is the accuracy of the pre post processing orbits? We call it the precise orbits. The RMS of the uh, mu orbits, uh, mu satellite, uh, the orbits is estimated by the only the metric tracking stations is about 60 centimeters in three dimensions, which is limited by the geometry of, of the stations. Because all of the Beidou satellite tracking stations are established in the domestic registry. If, if the RSAL measurements join the orbit determination, then the accuracy of the orbits achieves 25.1 centimeters in three dimensions. The RMS of the URE, the user range error, is also significantly improved. What is the standard uh, clock performance? In the average standard deviation of the broadcast clocks is 0 0.55 in nanoseconds. And the RMS between the broadcast and the precise clock is averagely a two in nanoseconds. The stability of the satellite hydrogen clock is about 5.8 to the minus to the minus 15 a day. And the rubidium atomic clocks is about one to the minus 14th a day, respectively. As we know that in the constellation, in the Beidou satellite constellation, uh, there, are, there have been three hydrogen clocks in, uh, equipped, uh, equipped in the satellites. What's the feature surface and the performance? And we know that BDS provided some feature surfaces. At, at first, the, uh, okay, the uh, I cannot, cannot find the title. Sorry. Okay, moment. So, uh, so the feature surfaces can be divided into two groups. One group is the HU satellite based feature surfaces. And the second group is the uh, satellite based, uh, in the MU satellite based feature surfaces. Okay. For the GU for the satellite based feature surfaces, I want to. I would like to give a picture to describe all of the featured surfaces. In the picture, we can find that the uh, RDS radio determination satellite service is provided by the air band and the S band. And the uh, RNS, that means the PNT surface provided by B1I and B3I of the uh, geo satellites. And the satellite based Augmentation surface is also provided by the geosatellites. It, the surface signal is B1C and B2A. And the regional short message communication surface 
is provided by the air and aspect. And the precise point position that is called PVP surface is provided by the B2B signals of the GU satellites. From the picture, we, we know that the GU, GU satellites provided the, not only the PNT surface by RNSS uh, mode and the uh, RDSS surface and the SBUS, satellite based augmentation surface and the regular short message communication surface as well as the PPB surface. The RDSS is very welcome for the uh, ocean users. The user applies the location surface to measure the ranges between the user and the two satellites are sent to the operational control center. The operational control center calculates the user's position by using two ranges and the digital elevation from the elevation database in the center, then calculates the user's location. Then the OC, OCS sends the position to the satellite, then from satellite forwards the position to the user. It's the old mode of RDSS continued from, uh, from the BDS-1 and BDS-2. In the BDS-3, we have a lot of satellites. The user can use a generalized RDSS. That means the user can employ more than three satellites to get his own position. Then he use only one geo satellite to send his location, location to, the, uh, to the OCS to finish the uh, generalized RDSS. We call it a location report. Uh, what's the performance of the RDSS build? The uh, design index of the RDSS position is 10 meters in both of the horizontal and the vertical component. The position accuracy of the RDSS is usually better than seven meters and 9.5 meters in the horizontal and the vertical components respectively. While the accuracy of the generalized RDSS is better than five meters in horizontal and the vertical components respectively because it depends on the forecast relation. What's the short message communication? We call it the RSMCS. BDS, BDS3 retains the regional short message communication surface, surface function of the BDS1 and the BDS2, based on the transparent transponders of the three geo satellites. Users, transmit the message to GEOs via airband. The GEO satellites forward the, uh, the message to the designated user by using the uh, S-band. The regular short message communication surface are very welcome for the users working in the area without any telephone communication or internet surface. Domestic cell phones with RSMCS has been on the market. For this Huawei Mate 50, has the can be used in the regular short message communication service in the area without any internet, without any telephone communication communication area. What is the performance of the RCMCS? The surface area is between 50 degree to 160 degree longitude. And between zero degree to the uh, uh, to the eighty degree latitude, uh, factually the uh, uh, coverage area is larger than the designed uh, coverage region, uh, coverage uh, area. The maximum length of the message is approximately one thousand Chinese characters. It's about fourteen thousand bits. The performance of the RCMSC is had been tested for many, for more than 1,400 times in Beijing. The success rates of the person-to-person -person communication is better than 99.9%. And the multi-cast communication is better than 97.7%. Because the uh, RCMCS has three communication modes, Person to person, uh, person to group, 
the Marcast communication mode. And the uh, five, and next feature, feature uh, surface is a satellite based augmentation surface. It's simply called S bus. As we know that United States, European, and Central have established the uh, S bus systems, satellite based augmentation surface system. VAS of US and the Eagles of Europe. Both of them are different from uh, Beirut S bus. We call it BDS bus. Very satellite based commentation surface takes the advantage, take the advantage of the GEO satellites to transmit the augmentation information to users. The BDS bus is provided for users in China and its surrounding area in accordance with the standards of International Civil Aviation Organization. The surface satellites are three geo satellites, and the surface frequency is B1C and B2 signals. What's the performance of the BDS bus? We tested the performance in, in the domestic in the domestic by using seven, uh, 27 tracking stations covering the mainland of China. Uh, from the uh, table, we can find that in uh, Beijing and uh, Kunming at Central, the average position for the horizontal is uh, better than 1.5 meters, and the vertical component is better for uh, 1.8 centimeter uh, meters for single frequency. If we're using that dual frequency, the uh, horizontal accuracy is better than 1.1. It's about 1.3 meters, and the vertical frequency, uh, vertical the component is 1.16 meters. So the positioning accuracies are better than 3.2 meters and 2.5 meters for the single and dual frequency positioning, respectively. The next feature performance is the PBP, the precise point positioning. Usually, the precise point of positioning PBP surface is provided by the ITS through the internet. We call it ITS PBP. But BDS3 takes advantage of the geo satellites to broadcast the precise orbit parameters and the clock parameters. So the precise ephemeris, orbit and the clock parameters, and the differential code bias of BDS3 and the GPS constellations are broadcasted to the regular users through the B2B signals of geo satellites. So the users do not need any internet to get the surface of the PBP. Of the, PBP. the service coverage of the uh, uh, PBP ranges from 80 degree to uh, 155 de uh, degree longitude and from five degree to 55 latitude. The positive performance of the PBP provided by the BDS, we tested the PBP P2B in China and the surrounding area. The, uh, we found that at least seven visible satellites within, uh, with the available PBP corrections can be observed in, in China area. The accuracy of the PBP P2B is 0 0.15 and 0 0.2 in horizontal and vertical components of the convergence respectively. The convergence time is about 80 minutes. Of course, different author gives the different convergence time, but the accuracy is, similar, uh, is similarly the same. Except for the GU satellite based featured surfaces, the MU, sat MU satellites and ITS satellites also provide some featured surfaces. I give two pictures for the MU satellites and ITSO satellites in, uh, in the PBT. The uh, MU satellites provide not only the uh, RNSS surface, that means uh, by the B1I, B3I, B1C, and B2, B2 signals to provide the PNG surface, 
the uh, mutant has, can also provide the uh, global short message communication service by using uh, 14 mu satellites. And the mu center also provided the uh, search and rescue. We call it the mu sound, the search and rescue. This side is not the uh, uh, the uh, photo re reverse sensing side. It's a search and a rescue, the mu sound. The mu sound can be provided by also by the uh, mu satellite and ITSO satellites. Uh, similar to the regular short message communication surface, BDS-3 provides the two-way short message communication surface for the global authorized users. The surface is implemented with 14 mu satellites and supported by in the satellite links. The capacity with the uplink is about 300,000 times an hour. The downlink the capacity of the downlink is about 200,000 times an hour, respectively. The user uses the airband to send a message to one of the mu satellites, of course, within the 14 equipped with the communication payload, the satellites to the uh, one of the 14 satellites, mu satellites. Then the satellite forwards the message to the designated user by B2B signal. So it can provide the uh, the short method communication around the world. What is the performance of the global short message communication service? The expected index of the surface success rate is better than 90, 95%, and the response time is less than one minute. The maximum length of one message is approximately 40 Chinese characters. It's about 560 meters bits. The performance of the GSMCS was evaluated every 30, 30 seconds within 57 days in the self transmitting and self receiving mode. The average success rate is 95.6%. Uh, And another feature surface provided by the MU and ITSO satellites is the search and rescue surface. MUSA is a new and a free surface helping the marine time aviation and the land users in this case. The MUSA follows the COSPUS SAR set standards and provides a returning acknowledgement. The positioning accuracy is better than five kilometers. This is the design index with the detection and availability probabilities both larger than 99%. The reply delay of the return link is less than three, uh, than two minutes with a success rate larger than 90, 95%. What is the rule of the return link designed by the BDS-3? The returning is very helpful for the uh, users in the disk case because the, the returning can help the person being searched to be calm down. Tell him we have get his information. The MUSA, what is the MUSA performance? Through a test, the capacity for one satellite are better than uh, 28,600 and 8,000 times an hour for the opening and the downing respectively, with the success rate better than 98%. BDS3 MUSA service, uh, service the, the MUSA service of the BDS3 has been accepted by the International Maritime Organization, IMU, uh, this year. The return link is very helpful to person being searched. Otherwise, as we know that the person in distress kept calling for help, help, help. Even causing the distress core terminal energy depletion. We have some experience for the BDS-1 and the BDS-2. You know, BDS-1 and the BDS-2 provided the short message communication. It can 
also be used for the uh, uh, for the search and rescue. But the person who wants to uh, to get help often keep the calling. So when the person wants to to help them, but we cannot find find them because they have any 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 energy. So the GSMCS is employed for the SAR surface, for the SAR surface, the position accuracy will reach three to five meters. Consider it, the short message, the global short message communication can provide the accurate position in, within the three to five meters. And it can also call for help. Used for the search and rescue. So we are striving for the GSMCS, the Global Automatic Communication Service, to enter the international search and rescue service system. At least can be used in within the domestic users. What's the future PDF? As we know that. Even the PDS have a strong functions, service functions, many uh, feature functions, but we have some uh, problems. At first, the OCS, the operational control system, is it's a, a central nervous system. Any breakdown of the OCS will directly affect the operation of PDS constellation, even to uh, interrupt. Uh, to uh, inflate the transmission of the ephemeris and even the PNG surfaces. Therefore, a back backup OCS or many other backup OCS will be built and operated in different regions. The main and the backup OCS could check each other and supplement each other as well as replace each other. The simultaneous breakdown of both the main and the backup OCS caused by the same trouble should be avoided. So in the design nation, we also, we often say that the two OCS, the main OCS and the backup OCS should be different in, in some, in, in the software and hardware. And the second improvement is the source, source wall source effect. As we know that the feature surfaces, the, most of the feature surfaces provided by PDS3 are provided by the geo satellites. As we know that geo satellites for the, for the mainland, for the uh, Chinese users are on the, on the source. If there is any obstacle in the source, the user is unable to receive GU signals. In that case, the invisibility of the GUS may need to the interruption, interruption of the BBP surface provided by the GU satellites. And the regular short message communication service also be interrupted. And the PDS bus surfaces also. Not. So if the PBB B2B surface is interrupted, that we the user needed a lot more than uh, 20 minutes for the convergence. So consider it. Can we use the IGSO satellite to help the geo satellite to finish the uh, uh, to complete the uh, the feature surfaces, even using the no op laws of its satellite constellations to help the geo to. Uh, strengthen the feature surfaces? Of course, my answer is yes. Another improvement may be the uh, SPP. As we know that the precision of the atmospheric correction model in high latitude regions is relatively poor. It will lead to the no precision of the user range area due to the most visible satellites with smaller elevation angles. 
most of them are uh, the uh, elevation angle less than 50, 50 degrees. So in this case, the uh, accuracy of the atmospheric ferric model is not so good. So can we increase the uh, inclination angles of the IGS or satellites? If we change the uh, inclination angles of IGS or satellites to uh, more than 60 degrees, for example, 65 degrees, the elevation angles average will increase to six, uh, six degree. And um, the maximum the elevation angle may be increased, increase this the uh, 12 degrees. So it's very helpful for the, uh, for the uh, users in the high latitude, not high nude regions. Another improvement may be may pay attention into the uh, PVP and SBAS. The PVP surface and the, uh, and the satellite based augmentation surface, are both of them are provided by the geosatellites. And both of them, the surface follow the similar principle and provide a similar product. My question is could SBAS and PVP be unified? If yes, then how can we do it? At first, first, we can unify the tracking stations, the monitoring stations for the BDS bus and the PBP are different at present in China. So we can combine the two tracking stations, station network, to unify them to and to reduce the monitoring resources and expand the monitoring coverage and to modify the monitoring geometry. The third processing for sense centers are also different at present. So we can combine the two processing center into unified third processing center. And to and the broadcasting antenna of the PVP and the uh, S bus parameters are also different. So both of the broadcasting antenna can be unified. The integrated parameters only broadcasted by the S bus. It, it can be also broadcasted to the PBB users. So this is my opinion. So at first we should unify the, the broadcast, broadcast parameters, the correction parameters. As we know that the BDS bus broadcasts the orbit corrections every two minutes. Every two minutes, that means the updating uh, rate is 120 seconds. And the orbit correction for the PVP is 48 seconds. For the S bus, BDS bus, the grid and atmospheric parameters is updated every 300 seconds, but it doesn't need a dozen needed. Uh, it, it is not not broadcast in the PBB because the PBB users can use the dual frequency. The clock offset corrections for BDS bus, the update rate is six six seconds, and for PBB is also six seconds. From the table, we can find that the PVP broadcasts more messages with shorter interval. Thus, the PDS bus may be backward compatible to share the messages broadcast. The update intervals of the orbit and clock offset corrections can be unified to 48 seconds, and the clock offset corrections can be updated. Update, the updated interval can be in the uh, six seconds for both the PBB and the BDS bus. And the fast correction parameter for the BDS bus can be omitted in this case. Why? Because the orbit correction is uh, the interval, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, update ratio is 40, 48 seconds. 
So there isn't any uh, fast crackings for the orbit parameters. So the integrated information is helpful, it's very useful for the PDS bus users. But the PB users can also use the information, integrated information, to improve the uh, robustness of the surface. The trend of the, uh, the Earth orbit satellite constellation in the future, maybe the North Earth orbit satellite constellation can help also for improve, uh, improve the uh, BDS surfaces and the future surfaces, uh, future, future PNG surface system. I, I, because the time is limited, I wanted to give a very, uh, very short for the future infrastructure. PNT, a PNT infrastructure, infrastructure. As we know that the satellite based radio signals are very weak and vulnerable. It's very easy to be interfered or spoofed. The OCS is also very, uh, the OCS, any, any failure of the OCS can interrupt the ephemeris surface, uh, uh, ephemeris update, updation. And the constellation venue also can interrupt the PNT surfaces. So what happens next? So the, the function of the modern society may break down without electricity, uh, traffic night, at Centura, a banks could not work, body trains could not op operate at Centura if the PNT is interrupted. So, in, in 2016, I proposed the, uh, to establish the comprehensive PNG infrastructure. That means use the multi PNG information integrated, integrated based on the different principles, but a unified space time data to, to serve all domains from deep space to deep ocean and to provide available continuous reliable and robust PNG services with anti interference and anti spoofing ability. So the comprehensive PNT can from the uh, large range stations to determine uh, deep space constellations. And uh, then the second layer is the GSS. The third layer is no orbit, low Earth orbit satellites. And the, for the ground can use the VRBI and the center of ground stations, Lunan C and Changhe in China in, in door, can be used, you can use the indoor beacon. On the ocean can use the sea buoy and the under, underwater can use the sea flow acoustic stations. That means from the deep space to the uh, deep ocean provides the uh, seamless the uh, PNT information. The requirement of the comprehensive PNT infrastructure includes that the special coverage seamlessly available, uh, available PND information from deep space to deep ocean, the principle should be based on the different physics principles. And the information should be compatible in top of, in top of operable and continuity, uh, continuous. And the terminal should be receiving an integration and with low, low power consumption. The application should be robust and reliable. Based on the comprehensive PNT infrastructure, we have a lot of PNT information. How, how can we use it? My opinion is resilient PNT application mode. The, the definition for the resilient PNT is resilient and integrated PNT information by resilient sensors, resilient and modifies the real functional models to adapt to complex environments, and resilient adjusts the stochastic model to adapt to the different uncertainties and to provide PNT surfaces with high availability, continuity, and reliability. So the character of the resilient PNT is similar to the assured PNT proposed by Professor Parkinson. And it is similar to the relative PNT proposed by the FAA. And it's also similar to the flexible PNT to the adaptive PNT proposed by, by myself, 2001 and 2006. And it, 
it should include the robust the PNG, reliable PNG. The reliable, at first, the, the, for the resilient the PNG, we should have the resilient mild sense, sensor integration. The mild sensors, mild PNG sensors, should not be simple bind, should not be simple integrated. The components of all the PNG should be optimization. The terminal should be minim, minim, minia, miniaturized. The should with lower composition, uh, consumption and flexible, compatible, interoperable, and replaceable. The, for the functional model should based on the uh, error identification. So my opinion, opinion is the different environments should have different functional model due to different error influences. For the receiving function, functional model, we can use the model selection, model error consumption, uh, uh, com conversation, and uh, different learning modification for the models. For the stochastic model, we can modify the stochastic model based on the uncertainties. So we're in component estimation and uh, robust estimate can be used for the Rusina stochastic, stochastic model. For the Rusina data fusion, we can based on the principle, introduce some resilient factors for the WXK and WI to balance different PNG information. So this is the resilient and the data fusion picture. From information one to information A, we should get the the resilient and the model one to resilient the model A, and the resilient the stochastic model one to the resilient the stochastic model A, then get the resilient data fusion results. Uh, and in the future, maybe the uh, intelligent PNG is a direction, uh, a direction to develop the trend. So I wanted to, don't want to give the detail for the in, intelligent PNG. The intelligent PNG should have the function of intelligently perce perception, intelligent error identification, intelligent functional model modification, and intelligent stochastic model improvements and the intelligent data fusion. The intelligent sensor integration should based on the availability. The functional model optimization should based on the reliability and the stochastic model optimization should based on the uncertainty criteria and the data fusion should based on the accuracy. The surface should surface criteria should based on the efficiency and for the users, should keep the PNG continuous and with integrity. Summary to, to my presentation. BDS1 resolves a realized zero to one problems of the satellite navigation system in China. BDS2 transforms the PNG mode from active to passive and expands the surface from local to regional. And BDS3 expands PNG surface from regional to global and provides feature services to global users. The modification of BDS3 signal is creative with better end interference and anti part ability. The ISAIR strongly supports the estimation of and prediction of BDS3 satellite ephemeris. The creative design of BDS3 helps the realization of feature services with better performance. With feature services, more markets open for the PDS. Recent years, we proposed the comprehensive PNG. It will be the next generation of China PDS PNG infrastructure. Based on the comprehensive PNG, we should research the PNG, resilient PNG and micro PNG, as well as the intelligent PNG application mode. PDS PNG, comprehensive PNG, resilient PNG, and intelligent PNG together builds the availability, available PNG, continuous PNG, robust PNG, and reliable PNG. Comprehensive PNG and a resilient PNG system will provide the assured PNG for the safe operation of national infrastructure and the national defense security. The real research for the comprehensive PNG and resilient PNG, as well as the intelligent PNG, is just the beginning. No ready-made theories or methods. 
we have a long way to go. Thank you for your attention.